Okay, welcome to FSD Beta version 9. Um, it's now 7 a.m. here at the East Coast in the U.S. And uh, I just decided to take out the car for in the first initial drive. Obviously, you can see I already spotted that. Brake lights. Nice. So, the car recognizes the brake lights on other cars in front of it. Which... I think I've always wondered, you know, is that something the car A sees and B takes into consideration when making decisions around braking or not? We did a protected left turn here, no problem. And at least now we know it sees it. Uh, whether or not it takes it into consideration for any driving maneuver, um, in the sense that, you know, as we do when we see brake lights on, we naturally anticipate the other car in front to brake. Um, Let's see, maybe we'll come across um, such a situation. But it's actually nice to see, at least to, you know, confirm now that the car actually can see it. Yeah, again, now this the car in front of us, you can see the brake lights going on. That little blinking to the left, I don't know what that was. That's generally also in, in the previous versions, the blinking behavior was sometimes a little bit off it was blinking when it was not supposed to um, I mean generally now the problem it's more confusing other people like in this case there is a car now behind me and uh, maybe he thought I would want to turn left so that's something that still seems to be present to some extent all right And you can see there is not too much traffic uh, around this time. I'm going to bump it up to 40 here. Um, not too much traffic around this time, but still, you know, some traffic around. Um, I'm curious to see then, you know, as time goes by and I have some more time to test this. Um, a little close there, but okay, didn't have to intervene. But it certainly took that a little bit, a little bit close. I would have moved more to the left here. Um, oh, almost hit the bird. <laughs> Didn't break for that. So, um, yeah, as as time goes by, um, we'll see. And this, uh, sorry, this is another thing that that you know that is constant. It kind of when it does a left, uh, a right turn, it kind of um, picks the rightmost lane. Uh, this is yeah, a little bit of swerving here. I mean, it's okay now that there's not too, not too much traffic, but. Apparently that's not good if there was a car, you know, next to me. So I'm going to report that. Yeah, the turning, that's, you know, right turns, he picks the rightmost lane. Left turns, he picks um, the leftmost lane, which I think is correct according to traffic rules. That's how you're supposed to do it. It's just that human drivers don't do that. And you could see that before. It, you know, we had to turn right and then go into the left lanes. So the car has to cross lanes almost unnecessarily. And here we do a left turn. Okay, like go wide here, but that's okay. Um, I think it just follows the the rules, which is which is okay. Um, and um, but it's it's you know it, it creates additional. Yeah, now here I got it take over because here the, the roads, the lanes um, get together and I didn't want to scare the guy in front of me. So I probably would have either passed it or went behind, I don't know, but I didn't want to confuse the guy. So here again, let's see if the blinker is also shown. No, I think it's the, the brake lights that are shown. Um, I have to pay attention to the blinker as well, if that's displayed as well or not. Yeah, but so far that was one intervention there. Uh, it might not have been necessary, but um, I, you know, the car was speeding up. The two lanes were merging into one, and I didn't want to end up uh, either, you know, passing the guy from the right or or kind of confuse him. So might not have been necessary, but um, out of convenience, or maybe it was more me not, you know wanting to scare or, or confuse the other guy. Uh, 
we're actually driving into the sun here just to mention so that might actually contribute to this little car not being sure which lane to take so okay yellow we might get through okay that was okay that was a good decision um, I might have stopped depends a little bit this is also see here now the car went over a little bit to the left lane this was actually good in previous versions um, it would swerve much more this was a spot where um, I always had issues in that it wasn't sure which lane to pick the right or the left lane we're doing a left change into the left lane now because we got to go left in 0.3 miles so that's good quite nice and early um, so the spot before it it um, it struggled in the previous versions much more in the sense that it you know wasn't sure which lane to pick this time I felt like it was picking the right lane it just um, went over the, the uh, lane markings a little bit so um, not too bad yeah here you can see again the brake lights And I don't know the the cars the blue cars it seems that they use still the colors color coding I have to pay a, more, a bit more attention to this maybe watch the video after um, because now I'm, I'm driving I cannot really watch the screen too much but it looks like they still use color coding for you know cars that do different things like cars that are not relevant um, or are not um, yeah relevant for driving they, they, they look to be blue um, but yeah, I have to pay attention and watch the video um, to you know to get a bit more uh, in, in detail view. We got to make a left turn here. There's no car coming, so that was okay. Channel impression, I would say so far, braking is much smoother. I think that's also an observation that others have made. Yeah, blinking here not necessary but okay um, that others have made with the radar less the Tesla vision cars that it, the car seems to be seeing slowing or stopped cars much earlier and kind of does a much better job um, decelerating braking for them and then that's definitely here I can confirm that that's the case as well so now here that's also I feel better so the car you know was braking for that turning van um, previous versions probably would have slowed down much more and waited longer to continue until the, the car really is out of, uh, of of the road. So that feels more natural. Got to stop coming up here, kind of occluded on the right hand side, but okay, car is going perfect. And then we got to make a left turn here. You can also see the humans are now visualized like in the public build. Okay, now there is a. Oh, okay. Yeah, I disengaged there more by accident than anything else. But uh, because of this oncoming uh, motorcycle. Let's see, we got rerouted here. Got to turn right here now. Okay, there's some debris. Let's see what it's doing. Yeah, goes around the debris, perfect. Okay. Yeah, that motorcycle before, I probably was grabbing the steering wheel a little bit too hard and, and it disengaged. So, um, I, got to, I got to do another video when there's more traffic around and um, see how it interacts with other cars actually. All right, we're almost at the destination. So, stop for traffic control, okay. It sees the other car in front, so let's see what it's doing. All right, good. All right, we're almost at our destination for now, so yeah, general impression, definitely no regression. Uh, the vision um, seems to work very nicely. Um, brake lights, visualization, um, some clear, some, clearly some improvements, so that's great. Um, I'm 
gonna do it's gonna go for another drive when there's a little bit more traffic a little bit later in the day or maybe tomorrow and um, i'll upload that as well so thanks so much for watching um maybe you you know subscribe to see my upcoming videos as well would very much appreciate that and i'll uh, see you next time gopro stop recording <laughs>